Hello ladies and welcome back to a new video. My name is Urania and this is the channel for femininity, self-improvement and where we focus on becoming the best version of ourselves. I think that femininity and being a woman is one of the most amazing things in the world and it's something that we want to celebrate more and cherish more. And I often get the question, Urania, I really want to be more feminine, but where do I really start? Well, that's what this video today is all about. We're going to look at some easy ways, but effective ways, that you can tap into your feminine energy. Ladies, that being said, let's get straight into today's video. I actually don't think that femininity is something that we have to learn. I think our feminine energy is already inside of us. So instead of saying we're going to learn to be more feminine, I think we need to look at it as how can we rediscover being more feminine. So my very first tip is to get inspired by other feminine women. You can watch movies, video clips, or even YouTube videos with women that are very feminine. And look at how they're acting, what they're saying, how they're moving, and kind of study them. I think that by doing that, you can activate the feminine energy within you. A movie that I suggest is Breakfast at Tiffany's with Audrey Hepburn. A video clip that I suggest and that definitely activates the feminine energy within me is Dance For You by Beyonce. Something about this video clip really makes me get into my feminine energy. You can look at old Hollywood actresses. I think that those women, they really embody that classic femininity. For me, it's very incredible to look at them. Femininity is a superpower. And by watching these videos of these amazing feminine women, you will understand how you can use it and how you can tap into your feminine energy. So find something visual for you that can help you to activate that feminine energy within you, right? So we mentioned YouTube videos, movies, or just a video clip. Try to find something that works for you. Tip number two to rediscover your femininity is to use your senses. In my opinion, this is one of the most important things that you can do to rediscover your femininity. And the reason for that is that you're going to be more present. You're getting out of your mind and thinking and doing and you're tapping into your body, into the present. Let's look at how you can do that. So you really want to use your senses. You want to touch, see, hear, smell, and taste. When it comes to hearing, you want to listen to really nice sounds and music. It could be music such as jazz or classical music, but you could also listen to the birds outside, how they're singing, or the sound of nature. The other one is feeling. And this is all about feeling things on your skin. This could be fabric, the clothes that you're wearing, but it could also be a warm bath or a warm shower. Another thing is seeing. So really having beautiful things around you, beautify your surroundings. That's not a great way. Then we have smelling. And smelling is about just beautiful fragrances. It could be a perfume. It could be flowers that smell really good or just fresh air. Take your time to smell and take in the scents around you. And then we have tasting. And tasting is all about delicious foods and drinks. This could be eating a delicious piece of cake or enjoying your coffee, having some fruits. Could be anything that you find delicious. And instead of just eating it, take your time to taste what it feels like. The taste, but also the texture of the food that you're eating. Really slow down, use your senses, be present and appreciate the things around you. This is an amazing, effective, and simple way for you to rediscover your feminine energy. And ladies, now it's time for a quote. When a woman awakens her defined feminine energy and steps into her power, she will not accommodate those who continue to sleep on her goddess nature. Number three, don't be afraid to be sexy. And this becomes easier when you have mastered how to use your senses more and how you can be more in the moment. And we just discussed that in point number two. Some women might be a little bit afraid to be sexy because I don't want to seem vulgar or promiscuous. And being sexy doesn't mean that you're being vulgar. But being sexy and being feminine is actually about finding a balance. So you can look at it as being sexy and cute, being sexy and intelligent, or being sexy and funny. Every woman has a different way on how she can show her sexiness. It's not the same for every woman. So figure out, are you more sexy and intelligent, sexy and funny, sexy and cute? 
and so on. It's all about balance. And a great way for you to become more sexy is actually to flirt more. And you do that by looking into people's eyes just a little bit longer and smile when you do it. Other things that can help you to feel more sexy are to wear beautiful lingerie that make you feel confident. You can also wear really good perfume that smells so nice. Or you could wear heels. Something about wearing heels is very sexy. Number four is to be creative. You want to have a hobby or an activity in your life that allows you to be creative. Especially the women amongst us, including myself, who have a career where they are very in their head. They're just very analytical career. My job is a lot of me reading documents and writing letters. And there's not a lot of creativity in my job. And that's why I needed to find a creative hobby that could help me to tap into my feminine energy. So let's dive a little bit deeper. And being more creative is really one of the most powerful ways that you can rediscover your femininity. You can do this by creating something from scratch. And don't overthink it. There are so many things you can do. You can start writing, painting, making music, cooking food, gardening, taking pictures. You can make videos and edit them like I am doing. Or you can start a different DIY project. Whatever you do, it's going to help you to express your creativity and really embrace your feminine energy. Number five, beautify yourself and your surrounding. Femininity is about beauty and cleanliness. Make sure that your grooming is good, that you look good, you feel good, from your clothes to your hair to your nails to your personal hygiene. You want to look good so you can feel good. But this also means to add things around you that are beautiful and even luxurious. As a feminine woman, you are drawn to pretty things, things that look aesthetically pleasing. This can be free things such as nature or inexpensive things such as buying yourself flowers or a little bit more expensive things such as beautiful jewelry or bags or, or shoes. By looking good and having things around you that look good, you're going to feel good. And that's going to make it so easy and natural for you to tap into that feminine energy. And a good example is that by wearing something what I'm wearing right now, this colorful and a really feminine top, I immediately feel more feminine. I just put on this top before I was filming and I could just immediately feel my own energy becoming more feminine and dainty and ready to make this video for you. So the way that you dress is very important and it's an easy way for you to tap into that energy. And ladies, I would love to hear from you. What is something that when you have it on, you put it on, you feel more feminine and you feel more confident? Please share it with us in the comment section below. Number six, be open to receive. Most of us might know that the masculine energy is about giving. And the feminine energy is about receiving. And it's the receiving part that can be quite difficult for women in today's day and age. Many of us are independent, powerful, and strong. And it makes it more difficult for us to receive because we can do it all by ourselves. But a true feminine woman can receive with ease. So let's look at some ways that you can start learning how to receive. Something you can do is to ask people for help and for support. And this also leads into you being more vulnerable. So try to be open to receive more help from people, more support, advice, but also gifts. And something that we should also not forget is that receiving also means that we can do more for ourselves, as in pampering ourselves. So instead of constantly thinking about other people and trying to give, how about giving more to ourselves in the form of time, self-care activities? gifts and just pampering yourself more so we want to be able to receive from other people but we also want to be able to receive from ourselves okay number seven and this might be a little bit strange but hear me out learn about your menstrual cycle and this one for me was actually quite a game changer as i knew what it means to have your menstruation but I never really took the time to dive deep into what the phases are 
because basically you have four different faces. And in these faces, you have different needs and different foods might be better for you, different type of exercises or different activities that you can do. By learning about the menstrual cycle and diving into this topic, you will understand yourself better. You will understand your mood better, your body, and appreciate your female body even more. And as I mentioned, our cycle consists out of four different phases. And in each of these phases, we have different needs and different types of foods and workouts are recommended. Our bodies work for us 24 seven. So it's important that we do the research to understand our body better and see what it needs in different phases. By studying this topic, I was able to give myself more grace. In the phases that my energy was more low, I was able to just give in and say, you know what, I'm going to slow down. My body has, does not have a lot of energy right now and it's okay if I take it easy. I also use an app where I lock in when my cycle starts and the symptoms that I'm having, how I'm feeling, and it even gives me a notification when my next menstruation is about to start. So I truly believe that focusing on this topic and researching the topic of our menstrual cycle can help us to tap into our feminine energy. And we show gratitude and we show love to our bodies by researching our bodies, by diving deep into what our bodies are doing for us. Being a woman is incredible and our bodies are fascinating. So I truly think that by diving deep into this topic or even learning about the different phases will help you step into your femininity. You will find this deep respect and love for your body and what it means to be a woman. And just like that, we came to the end of today's video. I hope that you enjoyed it and that you learned something and that you're able to use this information in your everyday life. Ladies, thank you so much for watching. We are going to see each other next week and I'm going to wish you a lovely week and we will see each other in next week's video. Bye ladies, have a great week.